for the last 71 years, we've watched some of the greatest moments in sports history. Celtics now lead 45, and West with a long jump, Russell deflected it and keeps it. Beautiful play. Feeds off quickly to Havlicek, who's been guarded by Krebs, who is holding back. Goes up, they jump long. Kuzi throws it high in the air, and the Boston Celtics are the world champion. Oscar Robertson throws to Kareem. Seven seconds. Kareem with a big shot. setting something up with Larry Bird, who gets it low. What's a move on Byron Scott? What a move by Larry Bird. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven. Open championship number six. Jordan. Chicago with the lead! It's Kobe again. But what if we went all the way back and redid it? Today is the year 1957. Welcome back to NBA 2K History Resimulation on NBA 2K22. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, let's get into updates real quick and we'll get to you guys voted for for all-star mvp and regular season mvp by the way thank you guys we got a ton of votes it was an easier vote this time around but uh you guys did awesome with uh with the voting uh a record amount let's try and get more though all right Let, let's try if you guys i there's there's a ton of people watching this this series compared to how many votes we're getting if you haven't voted make sure you vote for the all-star mvp and regular season MVP we've had a ton of votes uh in the last video let's, let's try and uh let's try and get some more uh than the last video but thank you guys uh real quick so let's go ahead and go over some uh team name changes and some logo changes so first of all um how what's the best way to show you guys um I guess we can go to roster yeah we'll go to roster so the Knicks will stay the same for a while. The Lakers will change, I believe, in 61. I don't know. I have it written down somewhere. Um, I'll make sure that I get a change. The Fort Wayne Pistons are now the Detroit Pistons. The so Bob Cousy, Bob Pettit, Kenny Sears, Chaz, they're all headed to Detroit uh, as the Detroit Pistons. Um, and then let's see. The Warriors are still in Philly as of right now. Boston still has the same logo. Syracuse is still the same logo. Uh, and then we've got the St. Louis Hawks. Now, this logo is a bit different from the actual logo. I just thought it was kind of cool that it had color. Um, so we changed it to that. They are now the St. Louis Hawks. Actually, so I, they were supposed to actually be in 55. But for some reason, I had it written down at 57. So that's my bad. It was supposed to be changed in the last video. Uh, it is now correctly changed. Uh, the Cincinnati Royals are here. So the Rochester Royals are no longer a thing. They have moved to Cincinnati. And those are the big updates for All-Star MVP and a regular season MVP. It was pretty easy choice. Bob Cousy for both. So Bob Cousy now has five uh, or no, six regular season. He's won four straight. That's insane. Uh, six regular season MVPs. He has five scoring titles. <laughs> he has a rookie of the year. And he now has three all-star MVPs to go with an NBA championship and an NBA finals MVP. He is incredible. So 
there you go there's all of the updates let's get into the 1957 1958 nba season and uh let's see who will be getting drafted this season there are three players in this draft and so we need to find the well the two worst because we have a coin flip here so uh let's see the cincinnati royals and the new york knicks will be uh doing a coin flip here uh let's go ahead and give the knicks heads and the royals tails all right knicks heads and royals tails try and get this in a good spot for you guys to see and it is tails so the oh my god i already forgot the cincinnati royals have won the number one overall pick uh the number two overall pick will go to the new york knicks and the third overall pick will go to the syracuse nationals uh both drafts in this video 57 58 will have just three players in this draft so let's get to the nba draft here we are in the 1957 nba draft and with the number one overall pick the cincinnati royals select woody salisbury okay so woody goes number one overall to the royals with the number two overall pick the new york knicks select sam jones i thought jones was gonna go number one overall so the knicks get a big time player at number two overall with the number three overall pick the syracuse nationals take hot rod hunley so there you go those are your three picks here in the 1957 nba draft here in the 1957 NBA free agency and the Detroit Pistons will retain Bob Cousy who's 28 years old a six-time regular season MVP a one-time NBA finals MVP and he is staying in Detroit George Mikan will stay in Boston uh Arnie Risen it goes to Detroit so it goes from New York to Detroit a nice little roll piece for Detroit uh, Vern Mickelson goes to, uh, or no, he will stay with the Lakers. Kenny Sears stays in Detroit. That's a big, uh, big signing for Detroit to get Kenny Sears back. I think he was a restricted free agent though, but he's been really good for them as a third piece. Uh, Jim Pollard on to St. Louis along with Howie Shannon. And then let's see, Ray Felix goes and stays with the Warriors. Uh, Grabowski to the Lakers um ramsey to uh, will stay with the nationals a couple of guys went to a no team so i'll go ahead and and fix that but um there you go there is the nba free agency the big one though a bob Cousy staying in detroit and they get arnie risen so detroit trying to load up see if they can win another one here in the all-star break for the 1957 1958 nba season and the eastern conference wins again it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine straight years for the East in the NBA All-Star game. I I don't understand why they dominate so much. Uh, it's hilarious. The West sucks. I mean, eventually this will change, right? Eventually? It's kind of, well, to be fair, I guess the West only has three teams. So that will change here soon uh, in a couple of videos. So I don't know, whatever whatever anyways uh Dolph Shays with 20 points just one rebound one assist Stokes had 19 6 and 5 Pettit was 17 3 and 8 Uzi with 15 and 12 13 to 7 and 5 for Jones as a rookie Neil Johnson 13 8 and 7 um let's see Charmin at 28 4 and 3 21 and 3 for Mickelson and Seymour with 16 and 9 Dalton with 10 and 8 I don't know this was tough because Dolph Shays scored but he didn't, he didn't do anything else um my vote's gonna go to Maurice Stokes I think uh yeah he, he was eight of nine shooting um six rebounds five assists I don't know that one's tough I'm gonna go with Maurice Stokes let me know in the comments below who you guys vote for this one this was interesting this one's interesting uh again if you like if you don't usually vote make sure you do vote because especially with this type of one having a lot of votes will help out you know who ends up winning this uh this all-star mvp so make sure you vote in the comments down below just comment who you like all-star mvp 1957 blah, blah 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 you know it's super easy go ahead and do that while you're down there go ahead and hit the like button it helps it really does it, it helps get some more viewers and we can get some more voters you know and uh 
and all that so yeah that that would be greatly appreciated um let's move on to the uh uh, end of the season 1957 1950 nba season is now over in 2k votes bob Cousy, another regular season mvp 28.7 points per game which led the league in scoring for the what is that one two three four five the sixth time leading the league in scoring kind of insane uh nine rebounds nine assists a steal and half a block shot 66 percent from the field the other Contenders for MVP, Bill Sharman, 25 and a half points per game, 14 rebounds, three assists. Sam Jones as a rookie, 23.7 points per game, 7.8 rebounds and six assists. Paul Arizon, his teammate, 22 points per game, 12 and a half rebounds, five assists. Vern Mickelson with 21.7, eight rebounds and 5.8 assists. Bob Pettit with 20, 12 and five as well. Let me know who you guys vote for for a regular season MVP. I mean, I, I get like fatigue could be a thing. I mean, back then though, I don't think fatigue was real. I mean, I guess it was. Um, I don't know. Do we give it to someone else? Let me know in the comments below. Like, do we make sure you guys vote? If you guys think that Bob, like the, like we are getting tired of Bob Cousy when MVP, like if it's getting a little, you know, like just give it to someone else. If we were doing that, I'd give it to Bill Sharman. I would. I think uh, I think we would give it to Bill Sharman. Um, I don't think Sam Jones did enough as a rookie. Also, his teammate is right there. So, I think we'd have to give it to Bill Sharman if we were going to give it to anyone else. But Bob Cousy deserves it as well. He led the league in scoring again for a third straight year. So, I don't know. I don't know. We got to see how the Royals did uh, record-wise, too. Uh, Sam Ed Jones wins rookie of the year, 23.7, 7.8, 6.3 assists. Kenny Sears, once again, with his, what is this? His third six man of the year, nearly 20 points per game, 7.8 rebounds and five assists. Bill Russell with the second straight rookie, uh, or not rookie, defensive player of the year, 12.16 rebounds, three assists, 2.2 blocks. Uh, Ray Felix wins most improved with Philly. And uh, moving on to the all NBA first team, we got Bob Cousy. Bill Sharman, Bob Pettit, Paul Arizon, and Bill Russell. All NBA second team, we've got... Uh, actually, okay, so I wanted you guys to comment on this. I can actually override. I didn't realize I can override the all NBA teams. So, uh, for the all NBA... Uh, uh, let's see, this is a guard. We'll go ahead and give it to... Uh, hmm. It's between... Between Garion and Costello. Hmm. Costello is 26. Garion is 27. Does Garion have any more of these? Like, what's his uh, award history? Third team All NBA. Okay, Costello, third team All NBA. Hmm. This is tough. Just based off numbers. I mean, I think we'd have to. I mean, we could look at her 36. Ah, uh, I think we're going to give it to Richie Guerin. So Richie Guerin on the All-NBA second team. Paul Seymour, Murray Stokes, Vern Mickelson, and Neil Johnston. Sam Jones, Zaslavski, Shays, Sears, and Mackley on the third team. All-defensive first team, we got Paul Seymour, Bob Cousy, Bob Pettit, Dolph Shays, and Bill Russell. All-defensive second team, we got Bill Sharman. We've got... um, Let's give it to Sam Jones. Uh, Marie Stokes and Paul Arizon, Neil Johnson on the all defensive second team. So there you go. Here's your all rookie first team. Um, why is Dick Armaker a rookie technically? That's weird. Nine and three. Oh, I guess he didn't play with Philly last year. Okay. Well, he was drafted the year before. Uh, Hot Rod Hudley, nine, seven, and three. Uh, Salisbury with 15 and 14. Pretty good rookie year. And the Sam Jones. So, on to the playoffs. Uh, Boston and Syracuse uh, in the play-in game. Uh, and Boston wins that one. So, we've got the Philadelphia Warriors, Minneapolis Lakers, and the Royals in the West. Detroit was one seed in the East. They will be facing off against Boston as a three seed. Uh, New York as a two seed against the St. Louis Hawks as a three seed. The Royals were a three seed in the West. They were the worst team in the West. I, I think Bob Cousy wins another regular. At least that's my vote. Bob Cousy, another regular season MVP. That gives him 
five straight uh that would give him five straight and seven total but it's up to you guys you know mine is just one vote so make sure you guys vote uh let's go ahead and look at the nba standings real quick philly went 74 and 8 the lakers went 72 and 10 the royals went 64 and 18 detroit went 80 and 2 oh my yeah no koozie uh, koozie's my vote uh the knicks went 69 and 13 hawks went 67 15 nationals went 66 and 16 and boston went 64 and 18. uh so here we go the uh, round two which oh let me check well i mean i guess it doesn't matter these are gonna be three games and then five games in the conference finals that might change the next uh season though uh, i i that was the one thing i didn't check um so i will go ahead and check that while things are simming and stuff but um as of right now it will be three games so here we go the cincinnati royals have been eliminated by the lakers so it will be the lakers and the warriors the celtics are eliminated by detroit and the st louis hawks upset the new york knicks and the hawks on to the conference finals we'll preview the west here first though the lakers with green donovan gola uh, mickelson and mccallay and for the warriors it's Ray Lump, Paul Seymour, Bill Calhoun, Harry Gallatin, Ron Livingston, and Ray Felix. Obviously, the Warriors are the defending champions. Uh, Boston was eliminated. They were the defending Eastern Conference champions. So Detroit gets revenge on Boston this year. With Detroit, we've got Bob Cousy, Gene Shue, uh, Kenny Sears, Bob Pettit, Willie Knowles, Arnie Risen off the bench with Fred Shaw's Don Oten. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a good team. <laughs> they're a really good team. The St. Louis Hawks with Larry Costello, Howie Shannon, Jim Pollard, Maurice Stokes, and Bill Russell. The 96 overall, who in the playoffs is averaging 8, 14 rebounds, 4 assists, though. A steal and a half, a block and a half, shooting 50%. So they have a lot of depth. The Hawks look good. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So remember, it's a five-game series this season. Uh, I forgot to change it, so it might be it might be supposed to be seven. I don't know. Uh, game number one: the Minneapolis Lakers win a game one over the Warriors. Detroit wins a game one over the Hawks. Game number two: the Warriors tie it up at one. Detroit goes up 2-0. And game number three: the St. Louis Hawks have been eliminated. The Detroit Pistons sweep them. The first year in Detroit, and the Pistons are on to the NBA Finals. The Warriors win game three, make it two at one, and that will do it. The Lakers are eliminated, and the Philadelphia Warriors are on to the NBA Finals for a second straight year uh, and a fourth in five years. They've lost two of them so far, obviously winning last year. Detroit back in the finals for a second time in three years. They are 1-0 in the NBA Finals. So here we go. Jumping in the Simcast game one in Detroit, an early lead for the Philadelphia Warriors. Goodness, a big lead. Uh, Detroit trying to come back. They're down by 10 with 8.56 to go in the fourth quarter. Uh, still down by 10 with a minute and 30. That will do it. The Philadelphia Warriors win game one. A bit of an upset. I think the favorites coming into this game are the 80 and 2 Detroit Pistons and uh, the Warriors win game one. Sears with 23. Bob Pettit or Bob Cousy did not play well. 13 points. 11 assists, Bob Pettit with 17 and 7. Uh, Calhoun with 18 and 8, 4 steals. Uh, Gallatin with 16 and 8, the veteran. Harry Gallatin playing really well. Starmaker with 16 and uh, Brown with 13. Seymour with 11, 6 and 6. On to a game number two. Once again in Detroit, back and forth early start here for both teams. Uh, at the half, it's 56 55. And into the fourth quarter, Detroit with a four-point lead. Down to three minutes to go, they have a five-point lead. A minute 28, it's a seven-point lead. Can Detroit hold on? Can the Warriors make this thing interesting? They cannot. It is a 110-100 final score. The Detroit Pistons tie up this series. Bob Cousy, okay, he's back. 30 points, nine assists for Cousy. 26 and six for Sears. Headed with 14, 18, or 14, eight and seven. Almost with 12. Paul Seymour with 21, 2 and 2 for the Warriors. So on to a game number three in Philly. And the Warriors with an early lead. Going into the half, though, it's a close game. 
Uh, they're up by they were up by one at the half into the fourth quarter. The Pistons have taken a lead, 75 to 69, and with 2:22 to go, the Pistons with an eight-point lead. We'll slow it down here. See if the Warriors can make this thing interesting, so we can jump in down to a minute. It's 97-91. 98 93 98 95 that will do it though and i ended up being closer than i thought it was going to be 98 97 remember no three-point shot so that made it really difficult for the warriors to come back that's why i didn't jump in but they did make it close 38 points four rebounds six assists for bob Cousy. sears with 21 3 and 3 had it with 16 6 and 5 paul seymour with 25 7 and 4 calhoun with 22 5 and 4 that was a big game Detroit has taken home court advantage back. And now we go on to a game at number four. Once again, in a Philly, Detroit with an early lead into the half. And it's a 39-32 lead into the fourth quarter. It's a 67-50 lead. A minute 37 to go. Yeah, this is a blowout. The Detroit Pistons blow out the Warriors here in game four to take a 3-1 lead. 95-72. Kuzi with 20 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. Bob Pettit with 27 and 5. Nalls with 18 and 4. Two with 13 and 6. Paul Seymour with 28 and 4. Dalton with 13. But the Pistons take a 3 1 lead going into game five in Detroit. The Warriors, though, with an early lead, they are fighting back and forth. We go into the second half. It's 50 to 48 into the fourth quarter. It's a close game. The Warriors are not backing down. Detroit with a 74 to 70 lead and with 229. Detroit is starting to pull away. It's 96 to 85. Uh, Detroit now up by 10. Going into the fourth with nine seconds to go. It's a 104-94 lead. Let's jump in and watch the Detroit Pistons win their second in three years. So Calhoun at the free throw line. And his second is up and in. It's 104-96. And that will do it, Bob Cousy. We'll dribble it out and the Detroit Pistons their first year in Detroit moving from Fort Wayne have won their second title in three years Bob Cousy another unbelievable year and to go along with possibly his seven regular season MVPs he has a second championship Bob Cousy is unbelievable it is a little unfortunate that he hasn't has, has he hasn't won as many championships as you would think a seven-time regular season MVP would. Um, but there is Bob Cousy celebrating, getting his second ring. And this team, I mean, winning the lot, winning that coin toss to get Bob Pettit was huge for Bob Cousy, right? Every great player they need their their second, they need their all stars, they need a great team around them, and Bob Cousy finally has that great team and it's resulted in two championships in three years we'll see the trophy presentation here and the announcement for the finals mvp but the detroit pistons will hoist up the larry o'brien trophy here and the suitcase don't forget about the suitcase and the detroit pistons are now two-time NBA champions. Good for Detroit, man. And the finals MVP, finals MVP will go to, of course, Bob Cousy, his second. Bob Cousy in the finals averaged 26.6 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, 8.8 .8 assists, shot 72% from the field. And Bob Cousy is your finals MVP. He's up to 95 overall at 29 years old i feel like in his prime because pr their primes didn't last as long back then i feel like he maybe has like two or three years so i mean if he can get four championships that'd be awesome right i, I think bob kuzi i at least try to get him another one more right if he can get three i think that like solidifies him as like one of like the all-time greats that will last throughout this series i don't know it's hard for like these players to really like They've got to be super special for them to sustain being a top 10 player of all time, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like two is not enough, right? So he's going to have to win at least one more, maybe two more to sustain that top 10 success. But I guess you never know. Bob Cousy, finals, MVP. 
and we move on to the 1958 offseason. So once again, only three teams uh, or three players in this 1958 NBA draft. But the worst team in the league was the Royals and Celtics. They each had 64, so we will be doing a coin toss. The third overall pick will go to the Nationals. So it's going to be between the Royals and the Celtics here uh, for the number one overall pick. Uh, we'll give the Celtics heads and we'll give the Royals tails. So here we go. Celtics heads, the Royals tails, and it goes to heads. The Boston Celtics have won the lottery and they will have the number one overall pick. The Royals will go uh, get the number two overall pick and the Nationals with the number three overall pick. So on to the 1958 NBA draft and with the number one overall pick, the Boston Celtics select Elgin Baylor. That could turn things around big time here for this Boston team as Baylor is now headed to Boston. With the number two overall pick, the Cincinnati Royals select Wayne Embry. And with the third overall pick, the Syracuse Nationals select Hal Greer. So there you go. There's a the 1958 NBA draft. Just a peek ahead of next year's draft uh it's this guy named wilt i, I don't I, you know I, he only had like 100 points in a single game so uh that's something to look forward to in the next game or in the next episode next game next episode uh wilt chamberlain uh yeah that guy he comes into the league so uh elgin baylor though 84 overall now with the boston celtics that's a big time pickup for boston so this was a big free agency here in 1958. Bob Pettit stays with Detroit. He was a restricted free agent. He stays. Larry Faust is now on to Syracuse, leaving St. Louis. Paul Arizon stays with New York. Paul Seymour uh, moves on to the Lakers from Philly. Uh, Bill Sharman leaves the Royals, and he is on to uh, Philly. Uh, Costello to, uh, will stay with the Hawks. Kieran uh, will stay with the Nationals. Jaws will move on to Detroit. Yardley uh, moves on from Boston to New York. So uh, a decent free agency. We'll see how that shifts the league. On to the 1958-1959 NBA season at the All-Star break. And the East wins once again 108-91. to Sam Jones, 26 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Jays with 16-6. Bob Cousy had 13 and 16. Paul Arizon with 15. I think Sam Jones should get this one. At least that's my vote. I mean, I know Bob Cousy had 16 assists, and that's pretty impressive. Uh, but Sam Jones played really well. Uh, in the West, Ed Macklow with 24, 7, and 4. And Michael's one 18, 2, and 5. 16, 5, and 6 for Sharman. And Paul Seymour with 16, 6, and 6. So there's your All-Star game. Uh, make sure you put in your vote for All-Star MVP. The 1958-1959 NBA season is now over. Bob Cousy, another triple-double year. I mean, the dude's insane. We do have a new scoring title, though. Bill Sharman leads the league in scoring. 27.6 points per game, 12 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Sam Jones with 23, 8, and 6. Uh, Henson with 23, 12, and 3. Ojin Baylor as a rookie, 22, 12, and 6. Uh, but I think this one, I mean, another triple-double year. I think this has to go to Bob Cousy again. Elgin Baylor wins Rookie of the Year 22, 12, and 6. Clyde Lovelett wins Sixth Man of the Year 12, 11, and 4. He's actually the first, uh, no, just the third different player to win Sixth Man of the Year. The first one ever was Mel Hutchins, then Kenny Sears won three, and then Clyde Lovelett with his first. Uh, Bill Russell, his third straight defensive player of the year. Bill Russell's getting better. 12.6 points per game, 18.8 .8 rebounds, three assists, 2.4 blocks, a steal. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good there. So on to the All-NBA teams. Bob Cousy, Bill Sharman, Bob Pettit, Elgin Baylor as a rookie on the All-NBA first team. And Bill Russell on the All-NBA second team. We've got Paul Seymour. Um, we'll go ahead and throw in Richie Guerin, uh, Murray Stokes, Paul Arizon, and Neil Johnston. All-NBA third team, we got Sam Jones, Larry Costello, Tom Henson, uh, Dolph Shays, and Wayne Embry as a rookie in the on the all nba third team he, he played really well 20 points 11 rebounds for wayne embry all defensive first team paul seymour bob Cousy, bob pettit paul errors and a lot of pauls and bobs uh bill russell uh all defensive second team we got casey jones bill Sharman, kenny sears marie stokes 
and Larry Faust. All rookie first team, Elgin, Wayne Embry, uh, Hal Greer averaged 11 points and two rebounds, four assists. So not bad there. On to the playoffs, and we'll go see ahead and see who wins that play. And it looks like Syracuse knocked out St. Louis. Uh, Minneapolis with the one seed in the West. Philly with the two seed against the Royals. Detroit once again with the number one seed. Uh, they will go out, go up against the Syracuse Nationals. And the Knicks and uh, Boston Celtics play each other as a two. Re looking at the NBA standings real quick. Detroit wins 77 and 5. Knicks and Celtics both win 71 and 11. Nationals 68 and 14. Hawks 62 and 20. Uh, 74 and 8 for the Lakers. 72 and 10 for the Warriors. And 63 and 19 for the Royals. The first round of the playoffs, the Philadelphia Warriors, the Boston Celtics, and the D the Detroit Pistons get eliminated by the Syracuse Nationals. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that that I mean Bob Cousy takes a bit of a hit there as far as all time. That's brutal. That is brutal. The Pistons get swept by the Nationals. We're on to the conference finals. It's the Lakers versus the Royals. There's the lineups. I mean, my goodness. Okay. Um, the Knicks with Casey Jones, Sam Jones, Paul Arizon, Connie Simmons, Neil Johnson. Paul Arizon, by the way, is 31 years old. The Knicks have won. How many championships have the Knicks won? They've won two. Paul Arizon has two MVPs. Uh, they've never lost one. So, and obviously with a new superstar in Sam Jones, who's averaging 24, seven and six, AC Jones has also been, been solid for them. Uh, the Knicks are really good. The Nationals with Hal Greer as a rookie, Rich Yearin, Broyla Hutchins and Larry Faust. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, also conference finals now up to seven games. Uh, we were actually right on track. So this is the first year with seven games in the conference finals. Uh, just three for the first round or second round, whatever. Um, that will change in like 61 or something. So on to a game at number one. The Lakers win a game one over the Royals. The Knicks win game one over the Nationals. Both win game two. Uh, Syracuse and the Royals cut the leads to 2-1. Uh, game number four, the Lakers take a 3-1 series lead. The Nationals make this a 2-2 series. So the Minneapolis Lakers are on to the NBA Finals. They defeat the Royals 4-1. The Lakers in the NBA Finals since, I guess it would have been three, four, like four or five years ago. Um, 1956. So first time in three years, I believe, that the Lakers are in the nba finals they are one of let's see who hasn't won a championship let's see detroit uh philly knicks celtics nationals so five of the eight teams have won a championship the lakers the royals and the hawks are the only three teams to not win a championship so the lakers have a great opportunity here the knicks win a game of five they take a three two lead and with game number six, the Syracuse Nationals are eliminated. So we have the Lakers and the Knicks in the NBA Finals. The Lakers have made it to the finals three times. They are 0-3 in the NBA Finals. They've lost to Bob Cousy and the Pistons. They've lost to the Boston Celtics. And they lost to the Syracuse Nationals. The Knicks... Uh, their third trip to the NBA Finals. They are 2-0 and oh so far in the Finals, uh, beating the Philadelphia Warriors both times. Paul Arizon was the NBA Finals MVP in both years. So here we go. Jumping into SimCast, into a game number one. The Lakers at home with an early lead into the second half. The Knicks and Lakers going back and forth here. 74-73 with six and a half minutes to go. 43 seconds to go. It's 86 83. Uh, can the Knicks score here real quick or no? No, the Lakers are going to go ahead and take a bigger lead. And the Minneapolis Lakers take game one, 89 to 83. Johnson with 18 and 5. Paul Arizon with 14. Simmons with 14. Jones with just 10.6 rebounds and 8 assists. Fern Mickelson, Green, 
and Hovers all with 14 points. So the Lakers take a game number one. Game number two, once again in Minneapolis and into the second half, it's a 51-43 lead for the uh, Lakers. Into the fourth, it's 65-60. Four minutes ago, it's an eight-point lead for the Lakers. And can the Knicks make this close? No, they can't. That will do it. The Lakers win it 90 to 75. Yardley with 15. Uh, Mickelson with 24 and 10. Seymour with 12 and 3. But uh, Sam Jones, after averaging 23 and 8 and 6 in the regular season, 21, 5 and 5 in the playoffs, he's been non existent here in his first NBA Finals strip. Paul Arizon is just too old at this point. They need Sam Jones to step up. Game number three in New York. New York trying to prevent from falling 3-0 to the Lakers here. 52-45. The Lakers lead it in the second half into the fourth quarter. It's 74-66. Can the Lakers take a 3-0 lead? They will. 101-82. to The Minneapolis Lakers have taken a 3-0 lead. Sam Jones has been a non-existent in his first ever NBA Finals. Paul Arizona at 24. Mickelson with 33. Uh, 12 and 7 for Gola. Donovan with 10 and 9. Mickelson really wants this. At 31 years old, he's had a really good career. He wants this, and they are up 3-0. Game number four in New York. The Lakers with an early lead into the second half. It's kind of back and forth, but the Lakers are pulling away two and a half minutes ago it's an 11 point lead the knicks still down by 11 13 seconds go it's 101 89 we'll jump in the minneapolis lakers are gonna win their first nba title 13 seconds here as we enter in a game at number four the lakers leading this series at 306 five four three two oh and the block and that will do it. The Minneapolis Lakers are NBA champions for the first time in franchise history. They've made it three times before. They've lost all three times. Vern Mickelson finally wins his first with the Minneapolis Lakers. It's been a long road. George Mikan leaving the franchise. And leaving Mickelson all by himself, basically. They have rebuilt this team. Burn, Paul Seymour. And that will do it. The Minneapolis Lakers are NBA champions for the first time in franchise history. A wild year. I thought Detroit was going to run through the league again. They were upset in round one by Syracuse. Leaving the door wide open for New York, in which I thought New York was going to go on and beat the Lakers relatively easily. It ended up being the opposite. The Minneapolis Lakers beat the New York Knicks relatively easily. No, not relatively. Very easily. Sam Jones, who won a Rookie of the Year uh, just two years ago, I thought was going to have a great series. But... He was not existent. Vern Mickelson with the finals MVP. Vern, uh, he was awesome in the finals. 25 points per game, four rebounds, three assists, shot 68% from the field. At 31 years old, he finally has a championship and a finals MVP. That will do it. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That like button. If you did, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. We're on, we're on track to get into 4,000 subscribers. Also, comment down below. Give me your votes. All-Star MVP. Regular season MVP. Uh, for both years. Need your votes. Let's try and get way more votes than last video. All right. I don't know how many votes we had uh, in the last video. We had right around 10. Let's try and let's try and get 15. Can we get 15 people? To vote if you haven't voted before vote 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 for your all-star mvp especially this video because i think it's it's more up in the air at least for all-star mvp and then that first year i don't know i feel like we we might have been able to give it to someone else never know make sure you vote uh down below also in the description you guys can see the results all the results for everything in the description down below go ahead and click that link for the google sheets and you will be able to view that um 
Also, let me know in the comments if someone can let me know that they can actually view that. Uh, just to make sure it, it is working properly. Um, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in 1959. Uh, oh, Chamberlain. Coming into it. It'll be fun.